and it slides. It's fine, it's fine. Hi, I'm Mariah Gladstone, founder of Indigia Kitchen, and this is Cook With Us with Well and Good. Today, we're making maple roasted acorn squash. Acorn squash is one of hundreds of varieties of squash that have been cultivated in the Americas for thousands of years. Native people specifically bred different varieties of squash for different characteristics. Acorn squash is specifically known for its sweet flavor and soft texture when roasted. Today, we'll be making it even sweeter by coupling it with maple syrup, another wonderful indigenous food, and a little bit of paprika, another indigenous food coming from dried ground up bell peppers. The first thing you'll do is preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Next thing we'll do is start to cut up our squash. Make sure you have a sharp knife that will cut all the way through the squash. There we go. Next thing we'll do is scoop the seeds out from the squash using a spoon. You can save your seeds to roast just like you would with pumpkin seeds or to use as pepitas later. We're going to keep preparing the squash by cutting it into three quarter inch thick sections that will resemble flowers. You can make your life easier by cutting your squash in half so that you have a flat side to lay on your cutting board. Here's the baking sheet I've already pre-prepared with parchment paper. I'm going to assemble my squash slices on this baking sheet. Next thing we'll do is brush the squash with a half and half mixture of maple syrup and olive oil. You can also drizzle this if you don't have a pastry brush. As this bakes, the squash will roast but the maple syrup will help this mixture caramelize and you'll end up with a sweet coating on top of your squash. Next, we'll just sprinkle a little bit of salt, pepper, and paprika on top of our squash. Then we'll just put this into the oven at about 400 degrees and let it roast for about 30 minutes. I'm gonna put this on a plate for serving. Now this maple roasted squash makes a delicious side dish for almost any autumn meal. The maple syrup has caramelized perfectly in the oven, so we're left with a delicious candied topping. Yum. <laughs> the maple syrup has caramelized perfectly on the squash and the squash is cooked until it's nice and soft. It can be easily peeled off of the harder skin and eaten simply with your fingers. Besides making a great side dish, this meal is easily kept overnight in the refrigerator for leftovers. You can serve it cold on a salad or even reheat it for breakfast food in the morning. The recipe can be found in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Well and Good.